<laughs> those are some pretty interesting hacks, but I guarantee you we're not going to be doing any of those with this tool today. Welcome to Flynn Dog Woodwork. Today, I've got an amazing technological tool that I've never seen before. These are truly calipers for the future. So stick around with me and let's dig into this tool. So rarely do I get this fired up about a new tool. Fire. <laughs> and there's two reasons why I'm excited today. One is that I need this tool and two is I've never seen a tool with this type of technical features. Now I've covered a lot of new tools on this channel and some tools that aren't even available to the public yet. But this tool is available to the public and I'm legitimately surprised more people in the woodworking community aren't talking about this tool. And maybe it's because this tool isn't exactly cheap. This tool is currently retailing for about $249. And in full disclosure, this tool was gifted to me by the company, however, there was no other compensation involved. But the interesting thing is, after playing with this tool for a while, I can see why it's priced where it's at. This thing has got loads of features that I've never seen on any other tool. And since I'm such a technology geek and I love taking a look at futuristic new tools, that's why we're taking a look at this today. But before we dig into this tool, I did want to show you what I'm currently working with. So one of the best purchases I've ever made regarding digital measuring tools is this four-piece digital measuring kit from Rockler. This toolkit is an absolute steal for what you get. If you wait for the right time, you can get this entire set for about $89. And by far the most used piece in this set are the digital calipers. And the thing that I like about the Rockler calipers is they're made almost entirely out of metal, which was a huge upgrade from the calipers I was working with, which were almost all plastic. Now I know a lot of you have issues with using digital calipers and I totally get that and respect that. However, I've only used digital calipers my entire woodworking career and I've never really had a problem with them. And the caliper we're taking a look at today is about as digital as it gets. So let's not waste any more time and start digging into this futuristic tool. So today's tool is the Neo Ruler Premium Combo Set. Let's dig into this tool and check out all its features. If we take a look inside the box, you'll notice that there's three quick start guides. There's also a charging cord as well as two small screwdrivers and an end cap. You'll also notice this very nice zippered carrying case. If we open up the case, you can see the tool itself along with four attachments. Now this tool has got a lot to talk about, so before we dig into some of its features, let's talk about its physical construction. Now my first impressions when I hold this tool is this thing is beefy. My tongue can't fight the beefiness. This feels very well made and the entire frame is made out of stainless steel and aluminum. If we look at the top of the caliper, you can see it's like many other calipers. It has exterior jaws to do the exterior measurements as well as interior jaws to do interior measurements. Now since these calipers are digital, it does require power. However, you don't need batteries like many other calipers. This has an internal battery that you charge up with the included power cord. On the frame of the calipers is a USB-C port that you slide your power cord into. If we look at the back of the caliper, there's a small rubber strip that prevents slipping of the caliper when you're using it. Just like with most calipers, there's a small metal wheel that allows you to make micro adjustments. There's also a small readout screen on the very front. If we look at the end opposite to where the screen is, you'll also notice three buttons. There's a triangle, a round button, as well as a square button, and we'll go over what those do in just a moment. Now another amazing feature of these calipers is you can convert them to a scale ruler in just a matter of seconds. To do this, you simply unscrew the top and slide it off. Then you loosen the knob on the very top, turn the tool around, and unlock it. Then you flip it back around and you can simply slide off the top from the very back. Once you've done that, you simply unscrew the top of the caliper and attach the end cap with the tiny screw that's included. Since we've converted this caliper into a scale ruler in less than a minute, let's start to talk about some of the features. So to turn this tool on, you simply press and hold the triangular button for two seconds. Once it's on, you'll see all the blue LED lights shine on the very bottom. Now, in order to use this tool as a scale ruler, we first need to take a look at some of the accessories that came with this tool. So if you remember from earlier, there's four different accessories that come with the tool. There's a magnifying glass as well as two pencil holders, and these are for pencils with different size diameters. Lastly, there's the pointer, and the pointer is what we're gonna use for this tool. To use any of these accessories, you simply slide them over the tab on the top of the ruler. So you'll notice this little slider tab on the top of the ruler. 
that's what you slide this plastic piece right on top. With a plastic tab on the ruler, this thing becomes quite amazing. You'll see those blue LED lights follow the pointer as I move the tab up and down. And the most simplest form of this ruler is to get a measurement from one line to another. So as I slide the tab down, you can see the measurement showing on the screen on the bottom right hand corner. In this instance, it's 2 and 23 30 seconds. So the pointer on this tool is great for general use, but if you're an architect or maybe a home builder, you may have a use for those other two accessories. I brought my pencil. So let's first talk about the pencil accessories. These are two different sizes depending on the size of your pen or a pencil. To switch the tab out, you simply slide it forward. It slides right off and then you can add the pencil accessory right on top. Once it's locked into place, you can place your pencil into that tab and strike a line wherever you want. And the nice thing about this pencil accessory is they tell you exactly how long of a line you've struck. I can see this becoming very useful when I'm laying out my projects. And you can see from the readout, the line that I struck was exactly 6 and 17 64ths of an inch. It is so precise. The last accessory that comes with this tool is the magnifying glass. And I can see this being very useful where precision is key for someone like an architect or an engineer. And changing out these accessories is extremely easy. You simply slide it right off and then slide the new one right on top. And that magnifying glass does have a crosshair so that you can line up everything exactly. So now that we have a basic understanding of this tool, let's take a look at the menu features and see what this thing can do. So as we said before, in order to turn this tool on, you press and hold the triangular button for two seconds. And you may get a calibration notification, and if you do get that notification, all you need to do is to slide the tab from one side to the other, and then press any button. Now once the tool is on and it's fully calibrated, there's really only four menu options, so let's go through those. So if we take a look at the color LED display on the tool, you can see there's really only four options. The first option allows you to use this tool as a ruler. The second option allows you to use this tool as a scale ruler. The third option allows you to divide any measurement into equal parts. And the last option is the settings option. Within the settings mode, there's four options that we can take a look at. So let's look at those right now. So if we click on the settings mode, you can see the four options. The first option allows you to determine whether or not you're using it as a ruler or a caliper. Once you hit your setting, it then will ask you to calibrate. And to do this, you once again slide the tab from one side to the other. As a reminder, once you slide that tab from one side to the other, you hit any button to confirm the calibration. I want you to hit that button. The next option is the battery setting. If we click on this, you can see there's three different options. First, there's the normal mode. And this automatically turns the tool off after five minutes with no activity. The second mode is performance, and this leaves the tool on no matter what. Lastly, there's the factory reset. The third option in the settings is all about using that scale ruler. There's a lot of factory presets loaded onto this tool so that you can get working right away. So if we click on the third option, you can see a variety of different scales that are preloaded onto this machine. Lastly is the information tab that tells you what software version you're currently running. In this case, we're running version 2.2. So you may be asking yourself at this point, what is the accuracy of this tool? Well, it's plus or minus 0.1 millimeter, and that's about the thickness of a standard sheet of paper. So let's quickly go through each one of the three ruler functions before we move on to the calipers. First off is the ruler function, and this thing will measure in millimeters, centimeters, meters, inches, inches with fractions, and back to millimeters. And this ruler will measure backwards and forwards from the end point of either side of the ruler or anywhere in between. So you can measure from this end of the ruler, clear it out, or measure anywhere in between, just as easily. And the full capacity of the ruler is one foot exactly. The next feature of this tool is the scale ruler. Now, I don't anticipate using this as a woodworker. However, if you're an architect, this would be a valuable tool. And as I said before, this ruler has presets already loaded into the tool. In fact, there's 93 of them, both for imperial and metric. But if you don't like any of those presets, you can use any scale variation that you want. To do this, we'll simply select the scale ruler. Then we can scroll down to the very bottom. 
First, we want to take our measurement. In this case, I want 1.4 inches. Once we have that selected, we can scroll to the next step. Then it allows us to scale up our 1.4 inches to any desired measurement. In this case, I'll scale up the 1.4 inches to 1.7 inches. Once we're done with that, we can select Done. And now anytime we move our ruler 1.4 inches, it will scale up to 1.7 inches. The last ability that this ruler has is the ability to segment any measurement into equal parts. So let's say we want to segment a one foot span into 10 equal parts. So to do this, we're going to select the segment mode, and then we're going to scroll over to select 10 segments. Once we have our 10 segments selected, You'll now notice as I put the ruler over to the side, you can see the 10 segments line up along with the ruler. And no matter where I move the ruler, it will be divided into 10 equal segments. So now that we have a basic understanding of the ruler, let's move on to the caliper. But first we need to reassemble it so that it functions as a caliper. And just for fun, I'm gonna time this and see how long it takes. That sounds like fun. And that took just under two minutes, and the hardest part was dealing with those tiny little screws. But other than that, that was a breeze. So now that we have the calipers assembled, we now need to calibrate this tool so that it knows it's functioning as a caliper versus a ruler. So in order to change this tool from a ruler to a caliper, we'll simply go into the settings mode. Once we're in there, we'll select the caliper ruler mode. Then we can switch over to caliper and select it. Then we can adjust the calibration by sliding the ruler back and forth and hitting any button. And just like that, our tool is now functioning like a caliper. So let's test this caliper out and see if it actually works. So since I'm in the process of still unpacking my shop, I don't have my setup blocks out of storage yet. However, I do have some Forstner bits. Here I've got a quarter inch, a half inch, as well as a one inch Forstner bit. So let's test this caliper out and see if it actually works. First off, let's start out with a quarter of an inch Forstner bit. And as I place it in the jaws, you can see we get a readout of exactly one quarter of an inch. Next up, let's try the half inch bit. And as you can see, we get a readout of exactly one half of an inch. Lastly, let's try the one inch Forstner bit. And as you can see, we get a readout of one inch. Now, obviously I can't do a scientific test on a short video like this but I tested out every single one of my Forstner bits and I got the exact readout of every single one of those bits. I also used things like this delft square to get the measurements of the base and everything lined up perfectly. So it appears that the accuracy is here with this tool. However, I'll report back in a couple of months and let you know whether or not I'm still satisfied with this tool. Next up, I wanna talk about the integration of this tool with its app and the app is called Weezer. That doesn't sound right. I think it's called Miser. So once you have the app downloaded, you simply hit create a new project, and then you can name your project. In this case, I'm going to name it Brian. Once we've named it, we'll hit create. Then we can hit this icon on the upper left-hand corner and hit settings. This will allow us to connect to a device. So we'll hit connect to device. Once we've hit that, we can then select new. And here we can see our Neo ruler. We'll select that and the connection is automatically successful. Once that caliper is connected via Bluetooth, we can actually adjust the settings of the caliper from the app. Once you're connected to the app, you can see you can select any of the scale settings. In this case, we're connected to US map. You can also flip the aspect of the display 180 degrees. Next up, we come to the power settings and here you can see we can switch from standard to performance. Lastly, you can change the color display of the caliper, and here you can see the different color options available. Another cool feature of this app is you can take a picture of a drawing and figure out the measurements right on your device. So in this case, I'm going to take my iPad and take a picture of the drawing of my shop. Once that's done, we can then use the app to figure out the exact measurements. So once I have my drawing input into my app, I then can select Draw. In this case, I want to draw a line. So I can select any area and take a measurement. In this case, I'll measure one side of my wall. Once that's done, I can input the measurement for that wall. 
In this case, it's in inches. So let's say I want to make it 160 inches. Once I've done that, that line has a measurement of 160 inches. And you can continue this process throughout the entire drawing. So this caliper and ruler, along with the app, is really quite a powerful tool. Now it may have a lot of features that we're not going to use all the time, but it's cool to take a look at new technology. So if you're a tech geek like me and you're in the market for a new caliper, you might find this Neo Ruler the perfect solution. I know it's going to give some of my old calipers a run for their money. Well, thanks for joining me today. I always have a lot of fun checking out the latest technologies for new tools, and I hope you enjoy it too. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and leave a comment. It really does help out this small woodworking channel. Until next time, take care as always.